a one, two, one, two in a place to be. Rhyming. Um, it's Saturday. It's not as cold as last week. It's cold enough though. Let's keep it moving. So, uh, hope everything is well with you guys. Around here, the snow has been melting. The weather people are saying that it's gonna get up to the 70s next week. So yeah. Um, let's see, what's, what is up besides the sky? Yesterday I had my kids, I just come up with things on the fly, right? I was like, uh, they have morning work. And I'm like, tell me a joke. And they're coming up and they're telling me jokes. Some made sense, some got me, and others are like, <laughs> and like we made Mr. Bailey laugh. It's not that I don't laugh, it's just that they're not funny. And we can't have two kids in the same classroom, you know what I'm saying? Someone gotta be the adult. But yesterday, I was like, because they always scream when they're finished, I'm finished. So I'm like, when you're finished, blink five times. So the, they're raising their hand and not saying anything. And they're just like. So then I'm like, yeah, if you get a sub, they're not going to know what the hell's going on. Because you guys are blinking like that. And then I'm like, what if Mrs. So-and-so comes? It's, just, it's their favorite sub they hate. She's all right, but she's just, you know. And then they started making fun. I'm like, ah! And I thought, yeah, that's what you would have done. And like, he's laughing. But yeah. Um, it's been a long week. It has been a long week. Uh, when I come home from work, I'm super tired. I just fall asleep. Long weeks, man. We started the play. So I get to school around. Well, I'm up around 4.30. Get to school around 6. And then on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we do our play practice. So 5 o'clock. And then there's some after the play practice talk i get home around six but that's an 18 hour day i only get paid for eight and then uh talk to my dad and i go to bed back to back but uh yeah it is what it is um um i realized what i have been missing in my life been missing but what I what works best for me is um, what's the word uh, what's the word what's the word uh, what is it I can't I don't I don't have the right word but I could explain it so when something is constant regular routine yeah routine so when I have a routine things it just it works you know your routine so where I found that I'm missing and that is, yeah, I do my, I try to do them on Saturdays and uh, my little walk and talks, whatever. But every now and then I meet up with people and we talk and we have long conversations. I just say a lot of the things I, basically what I'm saying now, but with some more details because I ain't trying to put my business all out there. And, uh, you know, they give me some insight that, you know, if you're in it, you can't necessarily see around it. You're in it. So you kind of, you know, whatever. And I, I, I leave. Well, sometimes it goes weird because they're just, I'm saying, hey, and they're just blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh, my gosh, they just don't get it. But sometimes like, wow, this is a really good conversation. It was nice talking to you. We should do this again sometime. But again, some time never comes. It'll be like 10 years or five or four or six months. And, you know, if you notice, I'm. My mind stay working. Just like that meme, beautiful mind where he's like thinking of equation. Like I'm always thinking, ready to have some retort, a response to whatever a person said. Here's an example. Uh, my brother's friend is doing his PhD in philosophy of whatever. And uh, he wrote a book. Well, he wrote a thesis about black people. I think I talked about this before, but um, so he wrote a thesis about why black people are the way they are. A 
think he called it the niggerization of niggers. Something like that. Something where if he has a bunch of white professors, they're just gonna pass them along because they can't touch this topic. That's how I felt. I thought it was, you know, checkmate. Kind of like if you're dating someone, they're like, well, you know, I gotta get my women's stuff. Most guys would be like, I, I got nothing else to say. But anyway, so I, I started reading it and he just kept repeating the same concept over and over again, nothing. And I read a lot of books. It didn't seem like he's going anywhere. He's just circling around the same concept. And again, if he has a bunch of white professors, or I can't even just say white, but just, it'd be an uncomfortable conversation to have with any professor, regardless of color. But I believe people of color would be like, yeah, but anyway. So my brother told him, my brother told me that he wrote it. He sent it to me. I read it. I'm like, eh, eh. I mean, I'm happy he's doing it, but it is what it is. So then we're in the car one day and my, my brother's just like, so what do you think? You read it? I'm like, yeah, I read it. It's, uh, you know, and, and I'm not trying to shit on anybody's uh, uh, achievements or what they're trying to do. But he's like, oh, you didn't think it, whatever. It's like, eh. So then he's like, yeah, why don't you, um, why don't you, uh, he's like, yeah, come Let's go somewhere. Where are we going? But well, we ended up at his house. The guy who wrote the thesis. And they're sitting around. You know, they're like eight years older than me. So they're talking about stuff that I don't really care about. Sports and when hip hop was pure. Stuff like that. So then he's like, yo, by the way, my brother said he read your dissertation. And, uh, and uh, yeah. Maybe there was some preface. Yeah, my brother hated it. So he said. So he's like, so what do you think about that? I'm trying to choose my words correctly. Not that I'm fearing for my life. And I ain't, not that I'm not ready to like go into battle over what I believe in. I, I just, I said it was, it, it, it was, now, can't give people a quick answer they start to think the negative of it oh you don't like it i didn't say that or you didn't say you did but so i said something like you know you, you, you don't seem to have you didn't mention so i just added to it i didn't try to subtract them like yeah, it was good but you didn't add in the point about how media influences people that's what i said and then he said no, media does not. He just shot me down. And I'm like, but it does. He's like, no. And then he said something like, you know, you are being, I don't know. He used some word that I never heard of before, but he kept using that word, which I didn't like it. Like talking down. So then everyone else jumped in the conversation. But the thing is, so this was like the whole thing. He wrote a thesis, a dissertation, thesis, whatever. He put his friends in it. So they were like, yeah, my brother's like, I'm in it. He wrote me into his thing, that's so cool. He's, and he knows like uh, Mr. West, not Kanye West, the other West. So you no, know, he, whatever. But when I asked him, did you read? Like, no. And when he put his name in, it was just in like the beginning part. Like, I like to give a shout out to these people but they're not in it, but they never read it. So for them to even have a, like a, a, a input, I read it. I mean, I read 75% of it because I said it just kept repeating. It didn't have a conclusion. So we're going around and around and around and, and uh, um, at this point, I'm dead pulling it. So at this point, I forgot where I was going. I don't even know, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna finish this topic. So um, uh, yeah, I I, I forgot where I was. Oh 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 yeah. See, I got it. So the point I made is I was trying to make is 
having a routine all right so in this this uh setting I, I explained my my thought process and he's just like whatever it doesn't make any sense and i kind of left that thing just like he doesn't know what he's talking about but who am i i don't got a phd i'm just a regular schmo so then i went home and i started like i still had is a pdf so i started looking at the his citations and getting those books if they were available to the public and then finding other books that would help me make a case that media plays a very sharp a very big and has a very big influence and this i don't even think i needed to prove it this way but if that's how he in the the the, the, the school way of doing things i could cite it and i'm just, like i got all these citations or books the influence of media and black people the like i'm going all the way back to blacks what b l b l a x o t i a n like shaft like the way and these are books written about not saying that because of the way black people were portrayed black people would emulate them blah 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 so then i'm like why am i gonna just write it let me rap it and i made him a little rap and i was gonna make a beat and i was gonna da, 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 da. but then i was like you know what i don't care because i'm not gonna it's unlikely he wants to have this conversation and like i'm not out to prove people wrong to just to be like <laughs> i'm smarter than I, I know what i know because i spend a lot of time doing whatever that is if i don't know it i i just kind of st stick a toe in there like I, I i i don't really know but uh you're asking kind of like uh most deaf in that drake situation she asked the question do you think drake is hip-hop he said well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he couldn't shirk about it he has his accolades he's I mean, we all have the right to our own opinion. All right, jumping over. Um, so I, th I think the reason I like my um, therapy sessions because they're regular. Every week, I meet up with my therapist and she has her notes so she's aware of what I'm talking about. Because again, if it's not regular, people can't follow my story. You guys, for the most part, I saw there was a comment from someone who's been subscribed to my channel for 17 years 17 years 16 years that's like before japan pre-japan or in between that thing but anyway so it's like you guys know what you're getting if you pop, pop onto this channel but um and in the same way my therapist she knows what i mean i could throw some curveballs at her because i do stuff like that too but um overall good morning overall um she um she knows what she's gonna get so last week i came in i was like really i was sleeping in the lobby like i just got in there and i just fell asleep didn't notice people passing by i was tired i sit down and she's like wow you look tired i'm like it was a long week and she's asking me questions and it's taking me a while to get to the point like oh you must be tired because normally you're all like burr, burr, burr. so then we're talking and i was just telling her the, the uh, so from last week we were just talking about how but it comes up a lot she's like i tend to let people have their way because there's no point in in like what's the point so my dad he'll say going to the movies is stupid because you can just watch tv i would say watching tv is stupid because it's just garbage stuff well the, the shows sometimes i mean like dr phil and murray he would say that's entertaining i would say it's disgusting but the point is I just let him say, oh, movies, they're terrible. And I, I don't say any more about it because that's what he believes. So she was saying, how comes you let people say what they believe, but you don't say what you believe? You could say you respectively, respectively disagree. And I like, I look at her and I was like, you know, in these four walls, that might fly. But out there, 
That, that, that's just not how it works. Not in my world. And she'll say, but why? Why do you do this? You gotta believe in yourself. It's not a believe in myself. It's what is the point? Back to the, the philosopher. The reason I stopped going all out on it is what am I gonna get? He's gonna say, you know, you showed me the error of my ways. I respect that you have a different opinion. I, I respect that you read it and none of my friends actually read it. I respect that even though you're younger than me, you seem to have an insight that is equal. You just need a little more training and I, I would love to take you under my wing and, and, and introduce you to these high power profile people that might help your, your rap game. Kind of like uh, they'll start dissecting them like they do Kendrick Lamar in common because it's beautiful. Like, I'm not getting that. So, uh, but I, 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 I summed it up like, I ain't gonna get a cookie. He ain't giving me no chocolate chip cookie if I'm correct. Oh, you did a good job. Here's a cookie. So I'm gone. I'm, I no longer. So a lot of conversations, what's the point? But she was saying, oh, you know, you're pretty, pretty. I mean, she doesn't talk that way. She actually talks. I mean, I make <laughs> my voice, but I like her voice. She has a nice, soothing voice. Yeah, yeah, Matthew. No, she doesn't talk that way either. She has a regular old voice. Anyway, but um, at one point she said, I can't recall how she said it, but she's like, da -da 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 -da. well, fuck them. Fuck them if you don't agree with you. I'm like, wow. She's Team Matthew. Because I, I, I said this, I was like, you know, this situation happened, and then I Matthewed it up. I said, why do you always say that? Because it's true. Well, we, if I, if I, if I'm like sitting in a barbershop, and everyone's like, yeah, this guy, like, let's say 19 the 2000s and and, and and it's like who's the best MC and I'm like uh Andre 3000 like how the fuck can you say he, he, he's from the south he's all country with it I'm like that's how I feel and it would be like this just google any barbershop YouTube videos all that shouting they're not listening to each other they're just shouting over each other unless it's different like the one with the math I mean, they do shout, but they seem to have let everyone talk to shit. It might be in the contract. I don't know. But a whole bunch of yelling. <laughs> For what? To walk away and learn. Most people, they might stop talking. They don't believe you. They still going to do what they did. But it was interesting that she was like swearing. Because in general, I don't swear. Like, I believe it all out. Like, yeah, you know, I, I was doing my poop like you could swear huh? I mean it's ironic to be like poop in order um but um it's cold man it's not as cold as last week but my hands this this is my hands right here but yeah like we, the conversation was just kind of circling about I gotta speak up and say what's on my mind but I, my thing is what is the point if someone is already in a state of I just don't agree with you me speaking my point will make them not Wanna, like, and this is when you need something. Like at school, I don't agree with a lot of the stuff. It makes no sense. Like some kids, they don't get in trouble because their parents are like super annoying. That's not fair. It, it, it sets a bad precedent for everyone else. Um, I have some teachers that constantly are just like, <laughs> I don't hear any love in their voice when they talk about the children. Empathy, I don't see any empathy. And I just, whatever. Uh, we're doing the play, and the one teacher who's running it, she <clears throat> isn't factoring in the that these kids are gonna take every every opportunity to like screw us over. Like uh, last week, we we're like, "All right, we've been here after practice. All right, let's take a break. Go to the bathroom." And all the boys run down to the bathroom and they start jumping around and breaking shit. And it's only a matter of time before they hurt, break, destroy something. We don't have a big school and we don't have a big cast. We don't have a theater club. So we can't really kick any of our leads out because that pretty soon, like we're doing Aladdin Jr. So if Aladdin does something, we kick him out. How are we going to have the play? We don't have enough understudy. So we need to think of a creative way to mitigate all that BS. But she doesn't want to talk about it. All right, well, we don't talk about it. It's, it's going to come. 
whether you like it or not. Uh, moving along, it just came up. So I was in class with my eighth graders and I, I, um, I was handing out papers and one of the girls said, I, she's like, did you get your paper? Like, no, you didn't come. And then she looks at me and she's like, pause. I just keep it moving, not to kind of be like, I don't know what, just to be an old folk, like, I don't know what you're talking about, but I know what you're talking about. This, how do they know what you're talking about? TikTok, Instagram, all that. But um, it was just weird, kiss today. All right, I'm back home, it's cold. Thank you for watching, see you next week, be safe.